10 Greatest Archaeological Discoveries Ever Throughout history, intriguing and significant artifacts have emerged from long-lost civilizations, offering windows into their worlds. Whether uncovered deliberately or stumbled upon by chance, these discoveries unveil critical aspects of ancient cultures, rituals, artistry, societal norms, and daily life. The Rosetta Stone, a key to deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphs, and the Swantaka Grave, honoring a gender non-binary individual, exemplify the wealth of insights these treasures provide. Here, we delve into 10 archaeological marvels, each revealing poignant snapshots of the civilizations that left them behind. Welcome to the channel, subscribe, and let's dive in. The Moai statues, perched on Chile's Easter Island in the Pacific, stand approximately 1,000 monolithic statues known as Moai. Skilled artisans crafted these towering figures primarily from volcanic tuff, giving them distinct, angular features, prominent noses, ears, and lips. Legend suggests their eye sockets once held white coral and red stones during significant ceremonies, ranging from 6 to 30 feet in height and weighing up to 80 tons, many moai were left unfinished. Believed to be built between 400 and 1500 C, these statues likely honor native ancestors, with the majority facing inland, guarding the island's inhabitants. UNESCO designated Rapanui National Park their home, a World Heritage Site in 1996, Recently, a volcanic eruption caused a fire, charring some moai, prompting ongoing assessments of the damage. The Rosetta Stone Dating back 2,200 years, the Rosetta Stone remains an invaluable relic, preserving a decree issued by a council of priests in 196 BC in support of the young king, Ptolemy V. The stone, a fragment of a larger slab, bore inscriptions in hieroglyphs, cursive Egyptian script, and ancient Greek, enabling the eventual deciphering of hieroglyphs using the known languages, Crafted from granodiorite, a kin of granite, it was discovered in 1799 during Napoleon's era by soldiers constricting a fort in Rosetta, Egypt. Acquired by the British Museum in 1802 from France, its multilingual inscriptions have illuminated ancient Egyptian language and culture. Despite being a prized artifact at the British Museum, there are continuous appeals for its repatriation to Egypt. The Benin Bronzes The Benin Bronzes, a collection of over 5,000 artifacts, were looted in 1897 from the Kingdom of Benin, now Nigeria. This plunder included figurines, tusks, sculptures of Benin's rulers, and an ivory mask. This tragic event followed the killing of British explorer James Phillips, provoking the British Empire to send troops to retaliate and seize the kingdom's artifacts. The stolen items were lent to the British Museum, sold to British, German institutions, and private collectors, perpetuating cultural theft. The issue of repatriation has sparked heated debates. Recently, the Digital Benin database was launched, mapping the location of over 5,000 artifacts in 131 institutions across 20 countries, shedding light on the dispersion of these African treasures. The Dead Sea Scrolls The Dead Sea Scrolls, discovered in the Qumran Caves along the Dead Sea's northern shore, are a significant collection of ancient Jewish religious manuscripts ranging from the 3rd century BC to the 1st century C comprising over 800 documents crafted from animal skin, papyrus, and fudge copper. These scrolls were found in jars by Bedouin shepherds in 1946 to 47. They are the oldest known manuscripts of complete books later included in the Christian biblical canon, shedding light on the diversity of religious thought and offering crucial insights into Judaism and early Christianity. The scrolls encompass hymns, prayers, commentaries, and an early version of the Ten Commandments, providing a captivating glimpse into ancient beliefs. While attributed to the essence by many, their exact authorship remains a subject of ongoing debate. The scrolls are carefully preserved at the Israel Museum in Jerusalem, although their delicate nature means they are not always on public display. The Anglo-Saxon ship burial at Suttonhu. In 1939, archaeologist Basil Brown uncovered a remarkable 1,000-year-old ship within a medieval burial mound at Suttonhu, Suffolk, England. This 86-foot-long vessel contained a burial chamber filled with precious Anglo-Saxon artifacts, offering insights into an ancient culture. Among the finds were Byzantine silverware, gold jewelry, a feasting set, and an ornate iron helmet with depictions of warriors and mythical creatures. While the exact individual buried remains a mystery, the scale of the burial suggests a person of monumental importance, possibly predating England's establishment in the early 7th century C. 
The artifacts now reside in the British Museum London. The gold mask at Sangsing Dewey. In 2021, an extraordinary gold mask was uncovered in a sacrificial pit at the Bronze Age archaeological site of Sangsing Dewey in China's Sichuan province, comprising 84% gold and weighing just over half a pound. It's believed to have been worn during ancient sacrificial ceremonies dating back approximately 3,000 years. Found alongside ivory, jade, and other precious artifacts, this discovery sheds light on the rituals and practices of the ancient Shuhan Kingdom, which reigned over the Sichuan Basin until 316 BC. Ongoing studies and excavations at the site continue to deepen our understanding of this intriguing civilization. The Staffordshire Hoard Discovered in 2009 near Hammerwich, England, the Staffordshire Hoard stands as the largest assemblage of Anglo-Saxon metalwork, boasting nearly 4,600 fragments in gold and silver. These pieces, primarily from the war gear of 6th and 7th century Anglo-Saxon kings and princes, unveil an unparalleled glimpse into early medieval craftsmanship. Remarkably, a third of the fragments are believed to originate from an elite high-status helmet, an exceedingly rare find. The intricately detailed artifacts feature a blend of Christian and pagan symbolism, representing diverse influences and likely holding personal significance for their owners. The hoard, showcased at the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery in Stoke-on-Trent, offers a unique window into Anglo-Saxon elite warrior culture from a bygone era. To Tuncommon's mask, in 1922, Howard Carter made a momentous discovery in Egypt's Valley of the Kings, the tomb of the young pharaoh Tutankhamun. Inside were over 5,000 artifacts, including everyday items like chariots, chairs, and even the bodies of the pharaoh's stillborn daughters. Among these treasures, the 3,300-year-old 3, death mask of King Tutankhamun stands out. Crafted from gold and lapis lazuli, the mask depicts the pharaoh's face and was a crucial part of his burial. Recent analysis by Egyptologist Nicholas Reeves proposes that the face of the mask might have replaced an earlier one, potentially belonging to Queen Nefertiti. The mask is a captivating relic on display at Cairo's Egyptian Museum. The Aztec Calendar Stone The Aztec Calendar Stone, known as Peter del Sol, is a colossal basalt sculpture etched with intricate hieroglyphic carvings portraying Aztec calendar signs and creation myths. Created between 1502 and 1520, the disc measures 12 feet in diameter, 3 feet thick, and weighs about 50,000 pounds. Despite its name, it served as a sacrificial altar rather than a functional calendar. Depicting the Aztec solar year and their cyclical cosmology, it represented their belief in four past world creations, all of which met destruction. Initially dedicated to Aztec Emperor Moctezuma II, the stone later became a symbol during the unification of Mexican states and now resides in the National Anthropology Museum in Mexico City. The Swantaka Grave In 1968, the Swantaka Grave was discovered during water pipe construction in Swantaka Vesitorn in Maki, Hatula, Finland. This nearly 1,000-year-old burial site, initially thought to be a double burial or that of a female warrior, contained human remains, a sword with a bronze handle, a hiltless sword, and women's jewelry. Recent studies have shed light on its true nature. Analysis of DNA at the University of Helsinki identified Klein-Felter syndrome, indicating the person had XXY sex chromosomes. The individual, buried on a feather blanket in furs and feminine clothing with a hiltless sword on the left hip, likely existed outside traditional gender norms. The grave reflects their respected and valued status within the ancient community. Thank you for watching, follow for more.